Hi all. So we got uh, Spartan 6 mini FPGA board from FPGA Tech Solution. So yeah, let's see what are the things we have on this board and we'll also see the demo. So how to program that board and all these things we'll going to see. So before starting that, we'll just go through the manual. What are the things available on the board and let's see so this board has a micro usb connector so this board does not come with the micro usb cable so we can use any micro usb cable or generally we have that with our mobile phone so we can connect here and this board is usb powered so we can directly connect to our laptop or charger and we can use that simply so this board has Spartan 6 LX9 TQ FP144 device from Xilinx so which has 9k LUTs logic gates so apart from this this FTDI chip which is uh, required for programming the Xilinx devices and uh, FPJ and apart from that this device also has USB to serial converter in one IC only. So this has 12 megahertz oscillator. So this board work on 12 megahertz. But the, if we want to have more uh, clock, so we can use simply DCM and we can generate whatever clock frequency we want. DCM IP is free of cost available. This has one RGB LED on board, uh, which can be used for different different purposes actually we can use this LED for uh, PWM programming we can see the very good uh, PWM program and output using this apart from that we have four push button switches eight general purpose LED uh, and these are the total 71 GPIOs available with which we can connect any uh, external devices also this kit has four slide switches we can use that for giving the stationary input and this connector using this connector we can connect uh, like a motor driver uh, Wi-Fi module Bluetooth module and LCD etc this board can fit into breadboard also very easily this config reset button is for uh, resetting the configuration file. This board also has a SPI flash uh, on bottom side of this board. So this is basic block diagram. As I just uh, said, this board has M25P40, not P40 actually. We solder M25P8080, so it is 8 megabit flash for configuration and also for user data so we have facility for 100 megahertz but it's optional so this 3.3 3 LED means if this LED goes everything is working fine and there is one done LED also on board so I will just show ok this done LED means once we program the APJ or APJ got configured from SPI flash this done LED goes on uh, it means uh, FPJ got configured yeah ok so going ahead so here they have given a jumper for connection of external power supply we can connect external 5 volt power source using this connector which is not solder on board but if we need you can solder of course and you have to select this jumper on external side uh, that's it and we have to give 5 volt power supply so pin connection is also given here uh, this slide switch is connected to P80, 81, 82, 83 pin number of FPGA and which is active high 
this push button is also active high and connected on p17 14 10 and 7 pin number of fpj so oh, let's see this this is ft2232 hl device as i said this has two uh, devices in one ic so when one part of that device we are using for jtag and another part which we are using for uart so uart connection is like this already connected with fpj we can simply use usb to uart so no separate uh, uh, uart usb to uart cable need to be purchased and use that like nothing is required and yeah this board has 12 megahertz oscillator 100 megahertz is optional and all the explanation was there uh, given properly and also yeah there is one link uh, download source code from following link if we just click on this link we can simply go to github and we'll see what are the things available there okay so there are some sample codes are there this manual is there okay schematic is also there let's see we'll see the schematic also and some board photos are there and few test file are there okay yeah there is some test project is also there so using the this test project we can just test all the peripherals uh, available on the board okay let's see the schematic what it says okay good it's opening okay this is that schematic if we download from github that full folder we will come to know so this has 3.3 volt regulator 1.2 volt regulator 1.2 volt is core supply and 3.3 volt is logic supply all detail schematic is given already okay let's see now we are going to our favorite part let's see we want to program this fpj how to program that so many other manufacturer board if you saw that uh, they have their separate utility to program the board to configure the board but as uh, spartan 6 mini board this board is supported with the xilinx impact so we have opened this impact so if we just uh, right click and we click on cable auto connect we'll see what happened now so something is happening okay configuration fpj and this speed is came here so means jtag is connected so we have to click on initialize chain now so it will find the fpj so this is the fpj we found on jtag chain connected to this one so now we will simply see the board exactly what happened on the board okay so see this board is power on already and this comes oh, what are the uh, led is glowing and all those things so this board come with this self test file already programmed in the flash if we connect to usb this all things will happen this led will glow like this and this rgb led will glow also yeah if we push this uh, pre uh, config button it will again reprogram the same things and it will start again so that's it okay let's see now how to program this fpj so we have already uh, found the fpj in jtag chain now we have to assign the bit file which we want to program the fpj so for that we'll go to this one and okay where is this okay this mini file okay this file 
get get assigned okay if we want to add sp flash simply click no and program this file click on okay so program successful let's see what happened there okay i programmed same bit file so will not find any change here but we'll see some different file available with us or not okay let's see that we have only led flashing code available let's see okay so expected thing is if we program this bit file rg led should not glow and all the general purpose led will just it will scroll okay so yeah okay so this is something different okay we have added rgb led also so rgb led is also glowing so this pattern got changed means our program got successful and it is working fine this board is absolutely uh, fantastic fantastic for um, beginners for a student and uh, yeah for everyone as this is very low cost we can simply plug this board to breadboard and we can use all this gpios for uh, peripherals we can connect wi-fi we can connect relays lcd and we can do many different kind of projects we can build a robot using this like that uh, many applications here yeah, simply we can build with this uh, low cost board yeah thank you thanks for watching i have a spartan 6 board connected with the laptop i have connected directly as i received i didn't program any file in this so with that we can see uh, rgb led is glowing and uh, this general purpose LED are you know, working like a shifting kind of operation so this board has this 12 mega oscillator uh, JTAG and USB serial converter IC Spartan 6 LX9 APJ this one and 4 push button config reset this is done LED means once APJ get configured this LED will glow and this is slide switches so we can see uh, this board also has this jumper uh, if we want to connect external 5 volt power supply we can connect uh, to these pins also on back side if we see what the things are available uh, so there are one SPI flash is there for configuration flash and we can also store user data in this power regulator and that's it so this side we have total 71 GPIOs so using this we can connect this board to breadboard and we can build many different applications uh, like stepper motor interfacing ADC, DAC interfacing, LCD interfacing we can also interface so Wi-Fi Bluetooth model can build our own robot we can uh, do web server as this board has USB to serial converter so we can test and uh, debug things very easily so I found this board is very useful for student and uh, beginners must to buy this board is actually must to buy thank you thanks for watching